like painting in color, huh? I love painting. In color? In all the colors. I like a lot of realistic painters. I really like a lot of Russian painters, Repin and uh, everyone that he taught. I really like uh, Latour and uh, like kind of all the the basic Bouguereau. I mean Rembrandt. Who doesn't love Rembrandt? Gustav Klimt also special place. Do you feel you have an a fixed idea on what you want to do based off of that, or you still want to explore areas? I think definitely still explore, because mm. now I think a lot of things we paint is just I'm trying to paint it to the best of my abilities. I don't really think about, oh, should I stylize mm. it this way or that way? Mm. It's just kind of going with what feels right. And I think style actually comes majorly from that. So I think mm. it's really interesting that you can see like, oh, this is like colorless painting, because he does this and this and this way. Mm. So I wonder if, if like, I, I don't know, do you think that you are like stylizing something? I mean, I think everybody stylizes things because you have a way of applying things with your hand. Many times I look at something I do and I'm like, mm, that looks like a bad way of trying to copy what this guy did in this painting, or this yeah. and this effect and this effect. It's very important to, it is art, like it isn't just uh, a technical craft and I think it's yeah. important to kind of remember that but from but it is so much fun analyzing yeah. and looking yeah. at paintings from like a, a craftsmanship yeah I think there's a lot of trying to reverse engineer paintings and trying to think okay but how did they get to that point mm. how can I apply that but definitely with so many paintings I mean just taking Rembrandt before I was like oh my god how did he do it and I'm still I think oh my god how did he do it yeah but I think this education really gave me a new perspective about looking at art. I think when I see a painting, I appreciate much more all the work that's been put into it. I think in my work, I'm very influenced by everything that's going on around me and just the building and the people actually, just when setting up a new still life, where you often take a, take a tour and look at what people have done before. Mm. And the things that inspire me, Creative wise, that's like nature. Yeah. Like you know, walking, no, walking, for, walking home from here, especially yeah. how it was um, uh, like two, three days ago. Mm -hmm. I remember there was like loads of snow, yeah, and there was, was like really this beautiful. purpley orange yeah. uh, sky coming and up. And the sunsets. Yeah. Oh God. I would just say that talent doesn't matter, and it's all about hard work. And uh, I think the more you are in this kind of environment where you see a lot of people going the whole way from the beginning to the end you really see that talent is just hard work a lot mm. of hard work mm. very exciting and rewarding hard work but yes it is work yeah mm. was that too depressing <laughs> <laughs> I like i like that feeling of being here like only thing that i'm worried about is what am i going to eat today and how do i turn this edge how do i turn this shape <laughs> Uh, is this too dark? My dream would be to just paint whatever I want and have a beautiful studio where I can bring a lot of models and have a lot of space and a lot of light. A lot of parties. A lot of parties yeah. and uh, just that would be my life. Yes. So embarrassing that, uh, that I confused Caravaggio and Velasquez. That's yeah, good. You should, you should include that in the video because no, it goes no, viral no, and everyone's no, like, please, who is that guy? Who is that idiot? Who is that